IVF accounted for more than 95,000 births in 2023, nearly 3% of all births in the U.S. that year. In vitro fertilization has been around for decades, helping people who face infertility have babies. So how does it work? Patients inject hormones to trigger ovulation so they can make multiple eggs. Then the doctor retrieves those eggs and combines them in a lab dish with sperm from a partner or a donor. After that, the embryo is transferred into the uterus. Often, the process creates more than one embryo. Extra ones are generally frozen and stored for future use and can be safely preserved for a decade or more. It's typical for IVF to take more than one cycle. That's what can make it really expensive, and insurance coverage can be patchy. It depends on what type of health plan you have. Many couples consider IVF their best option for a family after other methods have failed, but not everyone supports IVF. Some people who believe life begins at conception question whether it's ethical, especially if there are more embryos than a couple can use. Those who choose IVF don't always go home with a baby. The procedure isn't always successful. It depends on things like age and the number of embryos transferred. It's one of the reasons why IVF usually involves more than one embryo. Still, many people think IVF is worth taking a chance.